Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today is Wednesday. I'm recording this Tuesday night, but so yeah, today is Wednesday. Uh, for asynchronous day today, I'm going to give you guys a worksheet talking about, uh, one, how to calculate, um, you know, pH from the hydrogen ion concentration, pOH, uh, OH concentration, all of these things. Uh, I'm going to go through some of the just basic skills today. Um, and then I'm, uh, today I'm also going to kind of do a little bit of a lecture on why the pH scale goes from 0 to 14. Um, it sounds kind of arbitrary. Why 14? Why is it that neutral is 7? Water is just 7 pH. Um, yeah, that's a little, little strange, but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of explain it as we go. Uh, then I'm going to work through a couple calculation problems uh, on, uh, you know, going from hydrogen ion concentration to pH, so on and so forth. The assignment I'm going to give you guys is uh, kind of four pages of multiple choice problems. Uh, they're multiple choice. So, uh, you know, there's that. Uh, you will have to be doing some of these calculations, but the thing that I am uh, also wanting you to do is recognize uh, Arrhenius acids and bases, recognizing bronzine Lowry acids and bases, um, and also just getting some basic concepts in there. Um, what happens when pH goes down? You know, uh, is that more acidic or less acidic? Uh, just to get some of those basic things down. All right, so this is kind of a roadmap. Uh, I'm gonna pause here for a little bit and uh, let you guys copy this down. Uh, you can also just search for acid base roadmap if you want to find a, uh, a picture of it. But there's lots of ways that you can go back and forth between all of these things. So let's say you have, uh, you know, you're starting with a hydrogen ion concentration and I want to get to pH. How do you do that? Well, you follow this down and you do the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. That's how you get to pH. And from pH, how do you get to pOH? Well, one thing you have to remember is uh, because the, the pH scale is uh, 0 to 14, is that 14 is going to be pH plus pOH. So let's say I have a pH of 5. So then 14 minus 5 is 9. My pOH is 9. All right. So then I want to go from pOH up to the hydroxide ion concentration. Well, I know that to get there, I do 10 times the negative pH, which means it's uh, the if the pOH is 9, the OH concentration is going to be uh, 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. And there we go. So uh, this was 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. And, and we can go from OH concentration back to uh, hydrogen ion concentration by this little thing. The 1 times 10 to the, this is negative 14th, equals the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So you can go through and uh, figure that out as, as well. You can make this jump. There's lots of ways of going, going about that. Um, I'm going to show you uh, um, how to do that in some, uh, some practice problems here in a little bit. Uh, but first off, why is this number this number? Why is it that the pH scale goes from 0 to 14? Let's talk about that story. So to talk about that story, first we have to think, what is the pH of water? Just normal, everyday water. What's the pH? Well, it's neutral. Um, it's neutral. And what is the neutral pH? The neutral pH is 7. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So if, if the neutral pH is 7, what does that mean for the hydrogen ion concentration in just normal, everyday water? Well, you would take this, and it would be 
10 times negative pH. So then this turns to 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. And that is what the hydrogen ion concentration is for just normal water. So when you're drinking water, you do, you are drinking some of these hydrogen ions, all right? So what does that mean about the, the pOH? Well, if the pH is seven, 14 minus seven is seven for pOH. And so what would that make the OH, uh, the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, same thing, it's gonna be the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be, just like before, 10 times the negative pOH, so one times 10 to the negative seven molar. So they're the same. Huh. Look at that. So, uh, that's what we have so far. Now we have to think, what's the Ka of water? Uh, some of you guys, I know in um, one of my hours, uh, we didn't quite get to this, but I said to go check out the video. Hopefully you guys did check out the video. Uh, if not, you won't understand what exactly a disassociation constant is. But a disassociation constant is essentially how much of a thing is disassociating. So I have HA, that's the it associated together. And then AH is the thing disassociated. So it's kind of a proportion of those. How much is it disassociating versus associating? Um, so a Ka of one would mean everything is, or I should say a Ka of infinity is going to be uh, everything is disassociated and zero down here, okay? A Ka of zero would mean nothing is disassociating and uh, everything is associated. All right, so that's a brief description of what a, what a disassociation constant is. K is how we talk about disassociation constants. All right, so what does that mean for water then? Well, if this is the disassociated thing, that hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion, and on bottom, whoop, on bo bottom, you just have H2O. Well, I mean, what's the concentration of H2O in H2O? I mean, it's, it's, it's a thing surrounded by itself. So this kind of goes away. This term goes away. So we ignore it. And so that means that the KW, the disassociation constant of water, is the concentration of OH times the concentration of H plus, or the hydronium ion, H3O minus, uh, plus. And what did we say that was before? Well, that's one times 10 to the negative seventh times one times 10 to the negative seventh, which equals one times 10 to the negative 14th. This is why we have a pH scale of 0 to 14. Uh, because of this Kw, this disassociation constant of water. Uh, you know, we didn't come up with that number. That number was found by looking at what water does. It's a disassociation constant. Um, uh, the it disassociates just like any other acid and the way it disassociates is with the hydronium and the OH being times 10 to the negative 7th okay so that's that and because of that this is why we can go from uh, hydrogen ion concentrations to OH ion concentrations using this because kw is one times 10 to the negative 14th and that equals the hydrogen ion or the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration so this is how we can do that and you can rearrange this it just is is simple al algebra at that point 
Okay. So let's go through and actually put this into practice. Um, bop. All right. So this is a um, kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, a table. Uh, the tables like this is, are a pretty nice practice because you can see what one thing is, in this case, hydrogen ion concentration, and then we can figure out what every other thing here is. Okay, so let me grab my calculator. You can help us out. Okay, um, so if I have this number, uh, this molarity of hydrogen ion concentration, what is the pH going to be? Okay, so I can look back at my little chart here, and I want to go from hydrogen ion concentration to pH. That means I need the negative log of it. Oop. So, get my calculator. I'm going to take 0 0.0032. And I'm going to take the log, and I'm going to flip to a negative. 2.5. 2.5. Uh, why did I do 2.5 and not 2.49? Because of sig figs. Because of sig figs. So that means I can go through and write here 2.5. All right, 2.5. Great. Uh, let's say I don't want to do that. What if, what if I want to go from... Uh, hydrogen ion concentration to hydroxide ion concentration. Well, we can do that. It's going to be this formula. All right. So that means that what I'm going to have to do is take hydrogen ion concentration over, I'm going to get, rearrange this a little bit to, uh, to get that. What I'm going to need to do is mm, come on where are you there you are three two and this is going to be divided by uh one uh e oops, exponent that's what it is so uh burp, burp, cal I, I, i'm not used to i'm never used to this windows calculator and then we're going to divide this by uh, the kW, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, divided by 1 exponent to the uh, four, whoop, 14, negative, enter. And we get this. Let's kind of switch it to here. Did I mess something up? Hydrogen concentration to this. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Apologies. I did this backwards. It should be one exponent 14 negative divided by, so it's the KW divided by concentration. There we go. So 3.1 times 10 to the negative 12th. Awesome. Let's go back here. This is going to be 3.1 times 10 to the negative 12th. Done. Cool. So then how, what is the pOH of this going to be? Well, since I already have the, the concentration of, of, P, of, uh, of OH now, now I can just take this and do log negative. It is going to be whoop. Oh, here we go. Eleven there we go. Eleven point five. So eleven point five. Another way you can think about it is again just to do the pH or fourteen minus pH, and that works out as well to get to eleven point five. Now is this thing acidic or basic? So you look at your pH. And you know if pH is less than 7, it's going to be acidic. So it is acidic. All right. So there we go. This is a way of going through and um, calculating a whole bunch of these. Um, what I think I may do 
is give you this table and for maybe a little bit of a little bit of extra credit you can go through and fill out this table um, I don't want to give you guys too terribly much work because I've I kind of slammed you guys yet last week um, yeah I'll do that I'll give you guys a uh, how many are there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll give you three bonus points. One test question if you complete this table. There you go. Um, I'll add this onto the um, the the worksheet that I'm going to give you before uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, to give you an idea of what the worksheet is, I'll just show you. Boop. So. It's going to be this. Uh, I'm only going to give you the first four pages of this big packet. Um, we're going to go through and um, talk about KAs in a different unit. Uh, KAs and KBs and things like that. Um, yeah. So, I really just want you to go through and um, look at these guys. So this is kind of like, what is a Bronstein Lowry definition? Um, recognize them. Recognize conjugate acids and bases. Um, which one is not a conjugate acid base pair? Um, which one is, um, you know, a stronger acid? Um, ammonia. And then, well, yeah, strong, you know, figuring out what's strong, what's weak. And then here are some, um, some, uh, some pretty easy, straightforward calculations. All right. So there's that. Yep. All right. I will see you guys on Thursday. Have, and we're going to talk about redox reactions on Thursday. Have a good one, guys.